This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. And aloha, how you doing? Gordo the Tech Star here. Welcome to another exciting and thrilling episode of Hibachi Talk. Grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair, sit down and join us, and we're gonna have a ton of fun. And remember, when Hibachi talks, the world listens. Anyway, so <laughs> I love saying that. It's so awesome. <laughs> Makes you feel important. Um, anyway, we have a great guest today. We have a great subject matter today. Anyone thinks about developing apps, this is the man we need to talk to. Um, we have the, uh, the mixologist extraordinaire, visionary. But we also have my other favorite co-host, <laughs> Rick's the Fundmeister. How are you doing there, bud? I'm doing well, Gordo. You How are you? I'm good, eh? You just got back from Canada. I did. And what do yes, you think of Canadian? Pardon? What do you think of Canadians? Uh, Be careful. <laughs> you know what? The weather was just a wee bit cold. I didn't ask you about the weather. <laughs> but we had a fabulous time. All right. They are kind of nice yeah. people, aren't they? They, they are aren't kind of nice. They're, they're very nice. I know. Thank goodness for that. So yeah. good. Glad you had a nice trip and stimulated their economy. They needed to do that. There you go. Anyway, we have Mark Sullivan. Uh, Mark is a, uh, I call you a cocktail visionary. I like that. Because you've written cocktail books, right. you've uh, created an incredible mobile app, which yep. we're going to talk about in great detail. But what we like to do is get a little bit of background on our guests. Tell us, like, like so where did you grow up? Burlington, Vermont. The great white coat. Oh, do they make carpets? Burlington. <laughs> coats, <laughs> maybe. Coats. Oh, coats. coats. No, no. Wrong Burlington. <laughs> right, okay. So, M Burlington, Vermont. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, raised there. Um, high school, college, went to college there. Um, learned to attend bar there in the 80s, mm. late 80s. It was something to do uh, while I was going to school. Uh, worked at a large seafood house there for a while, and a little college bar, and then um, came out here. So you've been in the mixology business for quite some time. That's true. You look pretty healthy for someone who's been in the mixology business for quite some time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, 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 how long? How long have you been in the industry? I mean, it's a while. Well, yeah, from '86 to now, it's what? You know, thirty years. Thirty years. Thirty years. Thirty years in the business. So you've seen a lot of changes. Yes, I have. Um, so, and um, but why? Why? Why would you get into this form of occupation as opposed to? Mr. Maurer, who just likes to count money. None of it's his. Port Gordon, who's in None sort of, of the drinkology. Yeah. <laughs> drinkology. <True. laughs> There's the mixology and the drinkology. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun to do. Meet, meet lots of uh, outstanding, interesting people. Oh, nice word, outstanding. I like that. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. It's... it's, it's I've, I've uh, worked in all sorts of situations, fine dining and beach and pool and yeah, because you've you've things. you've been um, uh, you've been in high end restaurants. That's right. That's right. Um, you've been in um, uh, beach and pool, like you said. Mm -hmm. uh, you're now up at the Pacific Club. Yep. You've been Beautiful up there downtown for Honolulu, Honolulu, sure. downtown Honolulu for over a year. You're yep. one of my favorite. Um, Beverage aficionados. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, I come up with all these great words. <laughs> so anyway, so you um, so you got into this business for a long time, but you you know, I want to talk a little bit because you've written also written a couple of books. I did. And so uh, I saw one of them online was sell for six hundred dollars. A steal. I know. It, it included shipping. <laughs> See, and, I'm not, and I'm not making this up. I saw, <laughs> That's true. I, there was a, we were looking one day, and I went, "Look, Mark, here's your book. Someone's <laughs> selling it for six hundred and thirty-nine dollars, shipping included. Yep. <laughs> it must be really a good book. It is a good book. <laughs> I don't know if it's that good. But. <laughs> yeah, it's a couple of books, just the original cocktail recipes. They were fun to do. Mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, we're in the twenty-first century now, so. Thought we would go mobile. So then you went mobile. So you decided you're going to create. And you're looking around the table here. You say we have a few of uh, Mark's uh, recipes. Um, look, he's rubbing his hands together. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some of um, Mark's um, uh, Jello shots. Yeah. Um, from his uh, mobile app Jello Shot Pro. That's right. And we're going to talk about if someone wants to develop a mobile app. Mm -hmm. You know what it takes to do that. Because you're when I mean, you think about you're not a young geeky guy. No. No offense. We're kind of tech savvy, but not that much. You're so. not the kind of vision I would have of someone who wants to create a mobile app. Right. 
And just not like him either. I don't even think him don't have your mobile app. <laughs> He's not even mobile. <laughs> In your case, we developed an immobile app. <laughs> I only bring you on the show to abuse you, son. <laughs> an immobile app, you know, that, that brings a whole different concept. Yes, yeah. that's, that's more of not intake, but sort of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the what, other end of that. The other end of that's true. <laughs> so, so what possessed you to, to say, okay, I'm going to make a mobile app, Jello Shop Pro? Well, I've been making these things for uh, parties and barbecues and stuff like that for you know over 20 years now, just uh, coming up with my own you know original recipes. recipes. And uh, over the past few years, every time I made them for a party or for whatever reason, like an event, somebody would say to me, you know. There should be an app for making these to do this. So now, um, if I recall, you make Jello shots for the Pro Bowl or something when you go to the Pro Bowl or something. That's how we got started with it. Okay. Um, back in I think it was 1996, we had uh, 10 tickets to the ball game. Okay. My sister was visiting from the mainland, and I wanted to do something a little kind of different, you know, for the tailgate. For the party. tailgate. So I thought we'll make some Jello shots. Right. I didn't do anything fancy, but I made uh, five batches of 15, so I made 75 of them. 75 jello shots. 10 person. For 10 uh, persons. Tailgate party, and they were gone like that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gone. I did not make enough. It was well, not enough. That, so then that starts with to me. So how did you make the next year? Next time around, I thought, well, that wasn't enough. Let's double it. Let's not. make 150. <laughs> Same amount of people there, 10, 15 people or so, you know, just having fun before the ball game. Gone like that? Gone. <laughs> Gone. The kids slept well. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't have children back then. But. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So terrific. that wasn't enough. So Not. the next time around, we had a few more tickets to the ball game. I think we had 20 that year. Yeah. So my friends are like, you know what you have to do? Not. You had to one, so you're at one fifty. Yep. Don't tell me you doubled it again. We doubled it. Three hundred. Three hundred. Were you selling them in the stands? Or what? <laughs> I didn't <laughs> have to. <laughs> didn't have to. You know why? What? They were gone before game time. <laughs> oh, wow. Gone. So you must have come up with some pretty good recipes then that they were that they were pretty popular. But how long would it? Don't tell me you made more than three hundred. What's the most you've ever made? Uh, well, the year after that, I doubled it again, and that was six hundred. <laughs> and then after that, I. <laughs> I was sort of dared to do 1,200, but I didn't really. Yeah, no kidding. Questions. How much? Who has that much refrigerator space? Uh, nobody. <laughs> All this food's going bad, keeping nobody. your jello shots right. chilled down. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we come up with so many, making so many of them. I thought, well, we'll make some funky recipes. So I started adapting cocktails for jello, like making mai tai jello shots, or pina colada kind of stuff, or kamikazes, margaritas, strawberry margaritas, the whole bit. So, and and jello shots have been around for how long? Do you remember Jello Sets growing up? Yeah, well, yes, I do. Okay. As near as I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I... Sort of in the college days. I, co yeah. I never went to college, so I never got to experience <laughs> your experience. Because <laughs> you went to Berkeley? I did go to Berkeley. Oh, did yes. you? Yes. Did, did they actually Jello know how to make Berkeley. things in Berkeley, like Jello shots? I mean, that meant standing yeah. in a kitchen. <laughs> We were, we were, All the we Berkeley were, fans. We were gonna not, be, I'm yeah. going to be getting text messages yeah. like crazy now. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't exactly remember where it was. I know it wasn't in a kitchen okay. per se. For, but when, yes. when you were making them or drinking them or eating them or whatever it is you do with a jelly. Yeah, I couldn't eat them, I think. Neither, yeah. of the, neither of those locations were generally in a kitchen. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so six hundred Jello shots. Okay, wait a minute. How many refrigerators did you have to put six hundred Jello shots in? Two. Fill them. <laughs> <laughs> I started a couple of weeks in advance. Uh, it was a know, dare. It was a challenge that okay. I had to meet. Dude, no wonder third world countries hate us. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all this stuff that's going on. So, six hundred Jello shots. You go to the Pro Bowl. Thank you for supporting you know, the Pro Bowl, which Thanks. we don't have here anymore. Yeah, that's fine. So, well, I'll see you at the UH games. Um, <laughs> so, so, so you got into the, the, the gel shots, and then um, you've been doing this business for a long time. So, so now you decide what I'm going to make an app. Well, like we were talking about 
whenever I would make them, somebody would say to me, you know, there really should be an app for this. They should, this would be perfect for an app. And at first, I just kind of, you know, blew it off. One, because I wasn't sure if it would be really functional that way. Right. But two, I thought there had to be at least a dozen of them out there already anyway, so why would I want to be part of the pack? Right, and I checked on Apple, and I checked on um, Google, and I d found two, yeah. of which one is yours. One's one. And so, amazing. I did, I did the same thing about a year and a half ago. I said, well, I'll, let's look into it. Let's see if there really are any out there and see if they're any good or if they do the kind of stuff that uh, I do, and there weren't. So if we'll, and I, we got a, I got a picture that shows some of your, um, from your app, and we'll talk about going through that development process right. in the second half of right. the show. But you know, here's you know, everything you need to know about making Jello shots like a pro, but also in this show, we're gonna talk about how to make the app and how it get it, get it put right. up on the web. Right. But this is, this is right from, um, from Mark's um, app, which is so cool, and the graphics are great. Right. Um, and Good Hawaiian logo on there. Yeah, I like the yeah. logo. I like the, the color. Theme. It's you know, it's it's very, it's very inviting. We were going for a kind of a retro tiki kind of feel with like the beach sand and it's, all that. It's, so. it's really really nice. So so how many recipes? Seventy five. Seventy five recipes. Seventy five recipes. Yep. How, who's in charge of quality control? <laughs> <laughs> and why are you looking at me like that? You guys during the break. <laughs> during the break, you're in charge of quality control. Yeah, but, but if you need quality control, um, uh, I'll monitor him. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so seven, that's five what the recipes. That I've been making for years, and they've been, they've all been, you know, crowd pleasers. I have over a hundred recipes, but I came down to. I thought this was a nice round number, and all of the recipes in the app are all that I've made dozens and dozens of times. Everybody loves them. And you've got in, awesome. in the app, you're set in the app too. And is is there some secrets about making these correctly? And so sure, we did a did a little section for um, like a how to make them yourself. Uh, things you'll need, you know, sort of the kitchen equipment that you Your need. Your DIY, DIY, do it yourself That's kind right. of thing. And then we had a little section on uh, tips and tricks on how to make them come out right every single time. Yeah, I noticed one of the things I said is you don't, is, uh, what I said, is, uh, don't use um, um, sugar-free. That's right, because uh, uh, Jello shots come out a little uh, less firm than regular Jello. Okay. And if you use sugar-free Jello, it comes out even less firm than that. So and it ends up being all gooey and it's kind of like It's a gooey, a gooey, so don't use gooey shot. Pro. That's right. No, no. <laughs> so you don't. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> I didn't say that. My lips wouldn't work. Um, so, so it comes out a little bit so less. So you got, so there's tips and techniques in this. That's so right. it's not just right. the recipes. There's tips and techniques. Right. Right. Do I get that? So, um, well, we, I, I'm having an idea for Jello Shot Pro 2.0. Okay. We get to rate them. Ooh. Or I, I, or I get to go through all of them <laughs> <laughs> and try. <them. laughs> you can do it. I'll call my, I'll call my internalist. And say my liver is about to be shot. Um, so we'll yeah, go, but we can, <laughs> we can rate the, the different flavors on Yelp. Yeah, there, hey, see, there you go. Yeah, and you could use my limit liver as a gauge there to go out what's going. On. So, you uh, still have one. <laughs> well, it's, it's out for debate right now. The liver is out for debate. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. So all of these 75 you have <laughs> experienced <laughs> in oh. your lifetime. Oh, yeah. Every single one. I, and you look so young. It's amazing. Thank you. So, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, not every day. No, oh, not, okay. <laughs> um, oh, okay. That's a clarification there. Yeah, not, not every, every day. day. So, um, so they got 75. So what's the most popular one that you, would, that, that you see right now? Oh, by far. That one right there. The acid one? Oh. It's the surfer, surfer on, acid. on acid? By far. By far? Okay, I have not tried the surfer on acid. Well, we should hurry up for the break. I think we, <laughs> we can arrange that over the break. Okay. One will be, one will be missing shortly <laughs> there after they come back as one guy. So, so that one by far. Uh, by far. Has uh, uh, Jägermeister and uh, Chambord and coconut rum in it. Oh, it's not, well, uh, it sounds, it sounds it, by far the best far. one of the bunch. Okay, so anyway, we're coming up on halfway through. So like you said, we talk about this, and then we're going to talk about how you got this app published right. and how you got it up on all the different sites, which is in and of itself a challenge. I yeah. go through a lot of these Jello Shot Pros just to get the damn thing there. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll, we'll be back in a minute. In case you haven't realized, we're talking about a mobile app development. <laughs> <laughs> Jello Shot Pro <laughs> with Mark Sullivan and Rick the Fun Miser. He's so cheap he won't even buy the Jello Shot. I have a buy for him. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Oh, and Angus has a gadget. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Yeah, 
This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Good afternoon, my name is Howard Wig. I have the exquisite pleasure of hosting a Think Tech Hawaii program titled Code Green. I have some of Hawaii's and the mainland's most fascinating energy efficiency experts as my guests, and each one of them brings us a bit closer to realizing Hawaii's goal of 100% clean energy by the year 2045. For the first time, Think Tech Hawaii is participating in an online web-based fundraising campaign to raise $40,000. Give thanks to Think Tech will run only during the month of November, and you can help. Please donate what you can so that Think Tech Hawaii can continue to raise public awareness and promote civic engagement through three free programming like mine. I have already made my donation and look forward to yours. Please send your tax-deductible contribution by going to this website, www.thinkthinktech.cause.com. On behalf of the community enriched by ThinkTech Hawaii's 30-plus weekly shows, thank you for your generosity. This is ThinkTech Hawaii, raising public awareness. And welcome back to Hibachi Talk. And Ang we've got Angus coming back here to uh, give us a uh, gadget. Uh, Angus, Angus, buddy, how you doing? Over here, buddy, look to the camera. There you go. <laughs> oh, hey, Nick, how you doing today? Wow, we're doing hey, Mr. real well. Mr. Meister, it's awesome. awesome. Oh, I see you have Ed Sullivan here. <laughs> Was that your uncle? That's one of them. Your uncle, oh, that's awesome. You know, I really love your jello shots. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh so good. Anyway, I got, I got, I got, you know, I, I got to figure out a way to make them faster. Oh. So I got a gadget for you. Very thematic. Make the show thematic. It's called a jelly nader. Oh, what's that? Yeah, well, I got a picture of it. And it's actually a real gadget. <laughs> you can make your jello shots faster. 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 Wow. Yeah, so get ready. You know that 1,200 you're going to make? You got to make 1,200 <laughs> of them. And you got that gadget right here. So my gadget of the week is the jelly nader. Or the jelly nader? Or the jelly terminator. You know, I, I had one of those um, jelly thingies early, and I can't talk anymore. I'm losing my sight. <laughs> <laughs> They're really good. Anyway, Mark, thank you for introducing me to Jello Shot Pro. Sure. I can hardly wait to 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> and as I say at the end of your segment, let your wing gang free where you be. Hello, ha, go Jello. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Angus. That's really good. We're we're glad that uh, you're here with us today, and uh, we're going to be looking for the Jellinator. I think that that might be a way to consume them. <laughs> I I think we ought to get one for the show. <laughs> a, a gelinator. Just have it hanging around every day. Yeah, we'll put it on a drone and hover it over. Everything. Perfect. Okay, so the first part of the show, we talked about your your right. you know, your background, and, and you've been in this business a long time. Um, uh, we talked about the recipes and everything that's happening. So now you've got this mobile app. Okay, so but you don't have the mobile app. You've got to develop it. So no, what do you yeah. do? How do you develop a mobile app? Well, I mean, you know, first off, I decided to get, like, all the content I wanted to put on there ready. So we went through all the recipes and you know clean up the wording and all that, and uh, wrote the little the little bits about you know how to and the tips and tricks and all that stuff, and then I set about uh, shooting photos for each one because I thought each recipe should have a photo okay. to show you know what you're going to uh, turn out with, and that took you know some time making shots of all different colors and putting them in uh, shot glasses and plastic cups and things like that. And then I- Where I, was quality control? You forgot to call me again. Uh, I know, <laughs> I know. I don't think we had met. Yeah, that no, time. we had not. That was a so while ago. Well, yeah. And I, I shot the photos in my kitchen with my sons who were eight and 10 at the time, helping me stage the photos with flowers and little hula dolls and oh, they must have had. They stuff. must have had, there's, they, a ta there's a dad child bond. Yeah. They had a ball and they're quite proud of their work and so am I, they did yeah. a really awesome job. That's very cool. And so we got all the content together and then I thought, well, how am I gonna build it? Yeah, how are you gonna build it? Can I do it myself or yeah, you're not a programmer. somebody? I have, you know, kind of rudimentary skills in HTML and stuff, but just not really enough to do that. So I looked around at, there are lots of places online where you can get some DIY software. There are lots of people online that you can hire to do it. Mm -hmm. And I looked into the DIY stuff and it was 
just way past my knowledge experience in my pay grade really <laughs> to get to that. It, well you get a lot of tips. That's what I do, but still. Yeah, but still. That's not in the grade. So you know there are, are a couple of uh, services that I tried, but I just could not get the app I was trying to build to do what I wanted it to do. So you were using an outside third party developer. Did you go offshore like to India or any did you try any of those kinds of things or? there's a ton of those too, but I wanted to keep it local because I wanted to deal with somebody who I could talk to in person to discuss design ideas and all that stuff. So you found someone locally here that could do this? Mm -hmm. I did. Oh, I did. good. Well, we need to have that person on the show, or persons, or whoever they are. So tell me. Uh, Wahine Net Designs. Wahine Net Designs. Yeah. She uh, did an awesome job. And we just, we, uh, she, you know, sent me an estimate, and we agreed on that, and went and sat down and talked about design ideas, the kind of feel we wanted. I said, you know, I wanted to have kind of a tropical, sort of a retro tiki kind of feel. And I wanted the, Which it the, does. You know, this to be yeah. that way. And uh, sent her all the photos and put her to work. Wow. So how long did it take? I'm not going to ask you how much it costs. Okay. But because um, she may, if she gets any business from this. Um, I hope she does. She can she ship awesome me some jello shot photos. Yeah. Um, so how long did it take to well, develop this app? To get it from that point yeah, to when you it was got ready, all the pictures ready and you got the upload, content. it took six weeks, a couple of months. So a couple of months for her to develop that. That's pretty. Sounds pretty fast. Both to platforms, Android so, and uh, the iOS for Apple. So that was my question. So you, you decided to go on both platforms. So right. the Android and the, and right. Um, right. the Apple um, platforms. Mm -hmm. So so you, you got it developed. Took about let's say two months, six yeah, weeks to months. two months, um, and you were ready to launch. That's right. Okay, now, and how easy was that? So I'm, I'm, I think for someone who wants to develop an app, and we're, you know, I've been joking and having a lot of fun on this thing, but if you're going to develop an app, there's a lot of, st I would say, I liked what you did at the beginning, is you got all the content done first. Yeah. Get the, get you the, knew what you were going to do. Right. And now with the content, now you're going to say, okay, now I got the app. Mm -hmm. She develops the app for you, and now you got to go to Apple or Google or whatever. Into Apple, into Google, into Amazon. Amazon. And you can, anyone can upload an app there and sell it quite easily. Um, Amazon was uh, free to, to create a developer account. Uh, Google Play was a, a one-time fee. And um, Apple, iTunes, is a little bit more and it's an annual fee. Annual fee. So, so, you've, you've got, so they've got the, the uh, portal so you can move your app up. That's right. But they're not going to let you just take that app, move it up, and then they just put it out there without some kind of no, quality they're... control or whatever. Did they get to taste all the recipes? <laughs> <laughs> I can, I see, the, I can, some I can see the Google <laughs> staff going, well, I don't know about this app. I'm on number 37. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only Tuesday. <laughs> well, when you create a developer account, you just when you go to upload your app, you, you uh, build your own storefront page yourself. You can okay. upload, upload the photos that go with it. Uh, put out um, a kind of bullet point app description. You can uh, tag the page with um, keyword tags, that kind of a thing. So you've got, so you essentially got to build this, like your own portal yeah, exactly. for them to then begin to agree to accept a look at your right. app as it's right. coming up there. So you had to send up all the photos that you'd pre done. Mm -hmm. You had to send up all your descriptions. That yep. you'd screenshots, all that. <clears throat> all the screenshots and all that stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in addition, you have to have the app. Yep, and you upload the app with it as well. The, um, the app, our app is a very small file. It's only like eight megabytes because all the all the photos with the recipes are all hosted online. Okay. So it's not they don't go in as part of the app. So it doesn't take up a lot of storage space. Ah, so well, that's a that's a good that's a good concept and a good thought on this that I don't have to have everything in the app because right. it would be it could be a gig. That's too big of an app. Yeah, it would, it would have been... With, with all those photos? 75 with, photos? With the photos, it would have been a really big app. That's it would have been like, you know, 80 or 90 megabytes, and that's a big app. That's a big app. So then you get, so you got it up there. So um, so how did you do that? So did you send them all at the same day, or did you do to each one? I, I mean, started building the uh, Google page and the uh, iTunes page on kind of the same day, sort of in the same time frame. Okay. And so did we, the same thing for both. Same thing for both. Okay, so we got to move fast because we're down to two minutes. Okay. I hate this when it happens. So, uh -huh. so <clears throat> you send it up. And there's an approval process. Takes how long? Takes, well, for Google it was really fast. It was less than a day. For Apple it was 
Five or six days. Okay. Did you, and they accepted it first time? No, they both rejected it the first time. I, the photos weren't, uh, weren't exactly what they wanted. I had to change that. Um, Google was really quick with the next uh, approval, but Apple took a couple of days. Apple t took a little bit, a little They're while. a little more uh, picky, yeah. demanding. Fastidious? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but, I learned a word today. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> they should have had a, uh, a quality shot. control. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> so, 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 you, so, it's, I like the sequence though. You did all the content first. You then got the app developed. Mm -hmm. You set up your pages on uh, Google and Apple. Right. You then sent the app up for them to authenticate. Mm -hmm. uh, then you um, uh, had to go through the vetting process. Yep. Which took. You said Google was like a, a day or two. Google was uh, no, it was uh, the, like got rejected in two hours. I resubmitted it after making a change. They accepted it two hours later. And then six hours later, it was up. Well, that's not, that's Amazon not. was the same way. They didn't reject me because I knew what I had to fix. Okay. And Amazon was like 12 not, hours. Not Apple. Apple was the last guy they Apple took. Apple was the, they took, well, they rejected me after two days. I resubmitted it, rejected me again after two days, and then had me change some other stuff. But, so it's, it's not bad, though. You go through all this process yeah. and so on. So the total duration to do the, from the um, photos to get it up online, six months? Oh, the, the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, it was really closer to a year, finding a designer okay. and all that stuff. But So that's that's the thing to, to know. Anyway, so that's so for those watching this show, you've learned about Google Shots you've, and, and, uh, and recipes. You've learned about sure. the app. I got another um, shot. So when you download the app, you can get a hold of Mark yep. here. Email right to mm -hmm. me. Email it right to Mark, Jello Shot Pro, um, to get in, in touch with you. Like us on Facebook. Jello Shot Pro on Facebook. Facebook. And follow us on Instagram. And Instagram. And where else? That's it. That's it for now. Those Instagram and Facebook. Follow them on that. So That's right. um, at the end of every show, we give our uh, guests a uh, autographed solo cup. And so this is for your number 139 in the series. Awesome. You can put that up on the shelf with Can't who knows wait. what. Um, can't wait. I, I can't wait either. So anyway, you know, we have a... Tagline we say at the end of your show, of your show to okay. make sure everybody pays attention. Okay. At least our two followers in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> There's two. And now your sister. And now no, your sister. sister. That's right. <laughs> anyway, uh, Gordo the Texar, Rick's the Fun Meister. You're awful quiet today. I'm sorry. You guys were just, you know, going at it. There was nothing to say. <laughs> you get, you're stacking up yellow shots too, I might add. Yeah, well, that's why I'm quiet. You're quiet. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're hogging them. You're hogging them. <laughs> anyway, like we say at the end of every show, one, two, three. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing better now. <laughs>